Hi, this is Greg Green from Flip Schools, and TechSmith has been a great supporter of my project, and, and they do some wonderful videos um, and tutorial videos on Jing. So I thought that I'd, I'd just bring you what they have uh, created, and so it gives you a great description of what Jing is. Here you go. To take a video capture, you must first select your capture area. Then choose Video to start the capture. A countdown appears, and your recording will then start. Perform the actions you'd like to show. Jing will record everything that takes place within the capture area. The audio from your microphone will also be recorded, so you can explain what's happening on your screen. And if you don't want to record audio, you can use this button to mute the audio. You can also pause the recording using this button. Your recording will pause, allowing you to open any projects, find required files, or simply gather your thoughts. When you're ready to move on, click the Resume button. I should mention that the maximum recording length for both Jing and Jing Pro is 5 minutes, so be sure to keep that in mind. When you're finished, click the Stop button. A Jing preview window will open and you can play back and review your video. Are you happy with the outcome? If so, then give your video a name or just leave the timestamp. And then, take a look at the share options at the bottom of the preview window. You can send your capture to screencast.com, which is probably the best way to share your video. But you can also save it to your computer, share it on Twitter or Facebook, and if you have the pro version of Jing, you can upload it to YouTube. You can configure these options and more by using this button. It's important to note that the free version of Jing creates videos in SWF flash format, whereas Jing Pro offers MP4 format. Some benefits of the MP4 format include better capturing of high motion content, upload to YouTube, and you can edit MP4 videos in most other video editors. So go ahead, send your video to the desired output. In this case, we'll go with screencast.com, so we can then easily share the video with a coworker. Simply click on the share button and a link will be automatically copied to your clipboard and you can paste it into an email, a tweet, or an instant message. When the recipient clicks the link, they are able to view your video without the hassle of downloading an attachment. This is the quick and easy way to share your captures with others. That's all for now about video capture. I encourage you to check out the other tutorials on the Jing Learning Center. Bye!